A phobia of snakes is common, and it makes sense because these things are kinda badass. A snake manipulated Adam and Eve into eating those apples, so you just know these things are dangerous. But which ones are the worst? These are the most badass snakes in the world. Number 15. King Cobra where else could we start? It had to be the King Cobra. The King Cobra is all about size, strength, and brute power. It's basically the Dodge Viper of snakes. Wait, I guess the Viper is the Dodge Viper of snakes. And the Cobra is the Shelby Cobra of snakes, because they called them after those literal things. Point being, there's a lot of badass old school muscle cars named after snakes, and the Cobra is no exception. These are the longest and strongest venomous snakes in the world, and they live in Southeast Asia. They can lift the top one-third of their body upright and look a grown man in the eye. And they are famous for the hood around their head, which fans out when they are giving a warning. Also, instead of hissing, these damn ferocious things bark like a dog. How terrifying is that? Well, it's not a case of the bark being worse than the bite, as while these snakes may have the most toxic venom of all, the cobra is all about delivery. An envenomating bite will pump you full of neurotoxin, making this one seriously deadly reptile. One bite can contain one-fifth of a fluid ounce, more than enough to kill 20 men stone dead. These 18-foot monsters can even kill an elephant. Will this level of badassery be equaled by any snake? Keep watching. Like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Now it's time for the juicy topic. There is no denying that anacondas are among the most badass snakes, maybe even the most badass of them all. Found in tropical South America, there are currently four species. They're the second longest snake in the world, and the heaviest for sure, meaning they are not to be messed with. While anacondas are not venomous and therefore of no serious danger to humans, they can make mincemeat of other animals. As always, comment down below with the hashtag JuicyTopic and let let us know your opinion in relation to what we just showed on screen. Let's move on to the next one. Number 14. Reticulated Python if you thought that the cobra sounded big, how about this absolute monster of a snake? The reticulated python is the longest snake in the world, and also one of the top three snakes in terms of average weight. They can measure more than 20 feet and weigh over 165 pounds. And that, my friends, is a lot of snake. They also are incredible swimmers and often swim far out to sea to colonize islands in their habitat range. The python part sounds cool, but what about reticulated? Well, that comes from the Latin word for gnat. No, no, not the thing you are using right now while you sit on the can, but a literal gnat, which is what the pattern on their skin resembles. Oh, oh, no, 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 no. You got my snake hook. Back in the olden times of the 1950s, when people used to watch YouTube on giant screens while sat in their cars, a python named Colossus was named as the biggest ever, reaching 28 feet 7 inches. Since then, the New York Zoological Society has been offering a $50,000 reward to the person who can produce a 30-foot-plus python. But so far, none have quite made it. If you want to go hunt for one, you'll need to head out to South Asia, but be aware they are as likely to be hunting you. There are at least two cases on record of reticulated pythons attacking and eating people, but probably many thousands more who just disappeared into the belly of this giant snake. Number 13. Green Anaconda Remember when I said the python was among the top three heaviest snakes? I hope so, because it was like 30 seconds ago and you are not a goldfish. Well, I bet you were desperate to know which snake was the heavyweight gold medalist, right? Here he is, the biggest of the big boy snakes, the green anaconda. Indians will be glad to know that for once, there is a snake monster that does not live in their country. 
I know it's kind of like a boy's name, we call her the Green Hornet. We named all our uh, anacondas after bees. But instead, anacondas live far away in South America. They have huge girths, almost a foot, and can weigh as much as 550 pounds. They spend a lot of their time in the water, and are known as some of the best swimmers among the land snakes. They will hunt and eat all kinds of crazy stuff, including fish, birds, tapers, wild pigs, capybaras, and caimans. But they have even been known to eat jaguars. Like pythons, they are not venomous, but use constriction to kill their prey. They just squeeze until the poor jaguar or whatever dies, and the snakes can sense even the faintest pulse. So they don't give up until every drop of life is wrung from the victim. Then it's a swallowing time. Number 12. Black Mamba we are just smashing records today. In the world of snakes, you've had the longest, the biggest, the cobra-ist, and now we have the fastest land snake in the world. The Black Mamba. This badass snake is an absolute speed demon, and basically the Dodge Viper of snakes. Um, wait, let's not get into that whole confusing thing again. And basically, the animal just fell over dead. This snake is fast moving at up to 12 miles per hour, which is pretty impressive for a creature which does not have any legs. It's also huge, growing up to 14 feet, and is an amazing tree climber. Oh, and if it does manage to catch you, it's probably worth knowing it's also Africa's most venomous snake. Seriously, this thing is just completely OP. It's the Tassar Bamba of snakes, the Michael Jordan of slithery serpents, the BFG 9000 from Doom redesigned with scales, Basically, you do not want trouble with a black mamba. And for good reason, it is the most feared snake in Africa, a continent with 20,000 snake bite deaths every year. In just 45 minutes, the victim could be facing loss of consciousness and a quick passage towards death. So give the black mamba a wide berth if you ever come near one. Number 11. Inland Taipan Bang, we have another champion! This is the most venomous snake in the entire world, and its name is the Inland Taipan. In fact, this snake is hugely more venomous than any other snake, making it by far the most venomous reptile of any kind. One bite from this critter contains venom powerful enough to kill 100 grown men in the average yield. The neurotoxins are a special formulation which attacks the system of warm-blooded mammals. That's you and me, friend. But this, for me, is the most special. This snake is considered to have one of the best targeting systems out there, seeing as it almost never misses, and will usually attack several times, making strike after venomous strike, just in case you were still wondering who's boss here, why isn't it as famous as some of the other snakes on our list, and more to the point, why isn't the universe ruled by inland taipans? Well, they just don't have the personality. They have no need to show off, preferring to hide in remote parts of Australia, far from humans. This means only five people are on record as having been bitten by this snake, which has got to be a relief to us all. Let's just leave them alone, huh? Number 10. Flying Snakes so, one thing about snakes is that they don't have any legs, so as long as you stay off the ground all the time, you should be good, right? Well, no. Because, as we've already seen, they are badass climbers and swimmers. And you know what else? They can fly. That's right. Chrysopelia is a group of five species, which are known as flying snakes, and they live in the forests of Southeast Asia. To be precise, they glide, not fly, but it's still a snake traveling through the air and that is insane. They bend their bodies and then just fling themselves to the next tree grabbing onto branches as they go, which is very bad news for their prey. And we ain't talking about little hops here. They can glide up to 300 feet in one go. Flying snakes! I mean, is that how they got that plane? Remember, um, Samuel Jackson was there and it was kind of stupid, but everyone liked it? Uh, well, I guess these snakes might hold the secrets of flight without wings, and scientists are studying them for exactly that. In 2050, we might cross the Atlantic on a massive snake plane wiggling like crazy across the sky. Sounds relaxing. Number 9. Burmese Python 
Burmese pythons begin life up in the trees where they are born, and it is only when they grow to near adult size that they make their way down to the ground level. Once there, they spend a lot of time in the water, meaning these big snakes are considered to be semi-aquatic. They are originally from, well, Burma, obviously. Although Burma is not actually called Burma anymore, it's Myanmar. But did anyone ask the snakes about this change in name? But Burma or Myanmar is not the only place where these pythons can be found. They are a common sight in the Florida Everglades. Back in 1992, Florida was devastated by Hurricane Andrew. No relation to the Cree British Prince, and the breeding centers in the state were obliterated, which resulted in many pythons escaping into the wild. Since then, they have been breeding and making new friends among Floridians, especially American alligators, whom they seem to like to play a game called Who Can Eat Whose Head First? Estimates put numbers of these snakes at 300,000 in South Florida, and they are causing all kinds of havoc. So badasses as they may be, a cull of these snakes could be on the cards in an attempt to save native Florida species from this massive snake. Number 8. Boa Constrictor Here's one of the most famous snakes in the world. The boa constrictor, they are one of the most popular exotic pets, and although nowadays most are bred in captivity, back in the early 1980s, more than 100,000 boa constrictors were imported to the US after being caught in the wild. These snakes aren't as big as some of the others on our list, but that doesn't mean they are small either. They can measure up to 13 feet, which is plenty to be worried about if you were to find one in your bed at night. They are pretty solitary animals, which is a relief. Because, can you imagine a whole army of these things coming out of the forest all at once? When they are shedding, they can be more aggressive, and the Central American boas are a little angrier than their chilled out cousins from South America. The reason for the shedding aggression is that the milky substance they produce to help shed the skin gets all in their eyes, making it harder for them to see, and so they get a little belligerent like a guy who is blind drunk. Number 7. Asian Vine Snake Now here's the king of the swingers, the Asian Vine Snake. These six-foot-long green-bodied snakes are expert climbers. As their name suggests, they like to slither up and down vines, kind of like Tarzan. Except Tarzan lived in the Amazon and these dudes live in China. They have a characteristic pointed and elongated head, as well as their bright green scales. Out during the day, they are experts at traversing the vines to hunt their favorite prey species, such as lizards and frogs. They are venomous, but not dangerous to humans. Not only are they skilled at climbing vines, trees, and tall grasses, they actually stand up and sway around in the wind just like a blade of grass, blending into the background as they prepare to ambush some poor little frog or whatever. That's actually really cool. They also use their amazing camouflage technique to escape predators. Like, where'd he go, that damn snake? All I can see is these vines everywhere. Did that one just hiss at me? Number 6. Bushmaster the Bushmaster is found over a pretty wide range in the Americas, from Brazil to Colombia and the Caribbean islands. It is a pit viper and is well known to many of the people who live near it due to its fearsome reputation. Even its Latin name is badass, Lecasis Muta. Lecasis was one of the three fates in Greek mythology, and this fate's job was to assign the moment of death for a man. Which is something this venomous snake is more than capable of doing. The muta part means mute and comes from the tail, which shakes like a rattlesnake's but without the rattle. However, in grass, where this snake lives, that tail shake makes plenty of noise and means only one thing. Back off. This is the third longest venomous snake in the world, and the longest in the Western Hemisphere. They are known as pit vipers, not because they live in a pit, but because of a heat-sensing organ known as a pit on its head. The venom isn't the strongest out there, but a little like the cobra, this big snake can produce a huge yield of it in one bite. More than plenty to lay out its usual prey of mice and rats. Number 5. African Rock Python 
Another big boy from the python family, and this time it's the African rock python. As with all the pythons, this snake don't need no venom, it just rolls up, wraps up, and chokes out whatever looks like lunch. Sometimes this is small things like birds or bats, but it can also take down and swallow things like warthogs, bushbucks, and even crocodiles. Domestic animals are also a target, with dogs, chickens, and goats common targets. Once they've swallowed an entire warthog, they just wait around for a few months for their digestion to take care of it. Pythons basically ruin Thanksgiving by eating the entire meal themselves, and then fall into a shameless food coma until Christmas, when it happens all over again. Pythons are primitive compared to a lot of other snakes, and they have small spurs on the bottom of their bodies, which are the leftover hinge legs that were once there. They also have two lungs, while more recently evolved snakes have just one. But if a giant, strangling eating machine ain't broke, don't fix it. Number 4. Eastern Brown Snake here is one seriously dangerous snake that manages to stand out even among the wide range of badass snakes native to Australia. That's right, it's not all kangaroos and kookaburras down under. There's also some seriously crazy snakes. The eastern brown snake is known to be the second most venomous land snake in the world, and this species is responsible for 60% of snake bite deaths in Australia. This ultra-powerful venom attacks the circulatory system and makes the blood thin enormously, which leads to hemorrhaging and then cardiac arrest. Many years ago, Europeans introduced the European mouse to the continent, and it turns out that these mice are the brown snake's favorite food. And the mice like to live near humans, which means the snake likes that too now, and so the chances of being bitten are getting higher all the time. And another thing, if you want to run, then you better be Usain Bolt, as this is one of the fastest snakes on Earth and can outrun most humans. Number 3. Gaboon Viper Gaboon vipers are among the largest vipers in all of Africa, weighing in at a hefty 45 pounds or more, and with a length of 6 feet. They prefer to live in rainforests and wetlands in Central, East, and West Africa, and tend to mainly hang low on the ground. They are ambush predators and will lie in wait for their favorite meals to walk right up to them on the forest floor. That's pretty cool! I wouldn't mind just laying on the floor with my mouth open until a pizza walked right up to me. Anyway, the Gaboon Viper has a pretty wild head, which can measure up to 6 inches across, and is perfectly camouflaged as a leaf, even down to the veins. Nature really has an eye for detail at times, so when an unsuspecting mouse thinks it is approaching yet another fallen leaf, well, you can imagine what happens next. Not good for the mouse, in fact, really bad, as the Gaboon Viper, unlike most snakes, like to hold and crush the prey rather than just striking and waiting for them to die. No chance of staggering around like a Shakespearean actor dying dramatically for these mice. It's jaws of death and then digestion time. Number 2. Texas Coral Snake This snake, true to the traditions of its home in the Lone Star State, is a bad outlaw. You see, this snake just ain't welcome with the other snakes of the world. It hides alone, under piles of leaves, in burrows or around logs. Why is it such an outcast? Well, because it eats other snakes. Eating mice, bats, lizards, human beings, crocodiles, and freaking jaguars is all fine, but eating each other… that may be just a step too far. However, like with humans, certain snake species seem to be wild for this outlaw bad boy cannibal, and so through a process known as Batesian mimicry, they have evolved similar bright color patterns to make potential predators think they too are a dangerous and venomous Texas coral snake. But the patterns aren't exactly the same in most cases, so the old rhyme goes, red and yellow kill a fellow. This means that in the three venomous species, the red and yellow rings contact one another, while in the non-venomous mimics, they are separated by a black ring. They are known to be unpredictable, seeming calm, and then suddenly swinging around to launch a venomous bite just in the style of Jesse James. Number 1. Paddlesnake 
Rattlesnakes are a whole group of snakes, which include 36 species. All of them are venomous, all of them have rattling tails. All of them are badass, however they are not invincible, and the rattle has evolved as a means of trying to deter some of their predators, which include king snakes and eagles. Also, human beings like to round up rattlesnakes and kill them in frenzies as well, which is pretty bad for the snakes. In fact, they are considered severely threatened in many parts of their habitat, which ranges across North America. On the other hand, they are also responsible for the majority of snakebite injuries in the region. Like many others on this list, they are pit vipers, and use the pits to detect thermal radiation emitted by mammals. This highly sensitive organ can also detect heat changes of as little as 0.003 degrees Celsius, allowing rattlers to build a kind of thermal map in their brains through which they can navigate towards their prey with incredible accuracy. They actually superimpose images received through their eyes to create a kind of composite heat and light vision of the world. Pretty cool! On top of that, they have an amazing sense of smell. It's an American icon, but one best viewed or heard from far away. Which of these snakes do you think is the most badass? Would you want to have a rattle warning system attached to your butt? Let us know in the comments below. Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on screen right now. See you next time!